So first, uh, final congratulations for bringing this enormous project to them. Um, there are a lot of fans totally excited about your game and all the, the whole branches. Completely freaking out. <laughs> the can't be as excited as we are to get it out there. Okay, because <laughs> the, this is my question. Yeah. Um, how was it on your side? So we couldn't wait any longer for the, for the game to be released. How was it on your side? Have you been Honestly, there? it's felt a little unbelievable. Um, I, I, until I'm actually logging in myself to Battlenet and playing with my friends, I don't think I'll actually believe it. <laughs> this is all a crazy dream. Okay. Uh, same for me. I can't believe that it's finally coming to the store shelves. It's it's been a while, but it's going to be great. So. Okay. Also, I know it's a kind of typical question, but uh, how's it been working on a game with so, uh, with those huge expectations going on? Well, I think you take them seriously. Uh, you know, Diablo 2 is is an all-time favorite game. It, they did an incredible job on it. We want to not just do honor to that um, to the series and make sure that the game fits within it, but we want to add new things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a long time since Diablo 2. We want to make it worth the wait. We want to add features that take Diablo to another level and appeal to a whole new group of fans, mm -hmm. but not at all be disappointing to the longtime fans. Okay. Yeah, it's an exciting challenge and an opportunity for everybody at Blizzard. It's it's a great franchise, but Diablo 3 just really raises the bar. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. Have you ever been anxious about the, the release? So do you know what to expect from the fans, how they will react on the First time um, we're pretty confident. I think there is an inherent anxiety to releasing any game at all, and a game this big with these high expectations certainly improves that. But we've done our homework. We've spent the time, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to go well, and, and you know, we will. If we need to make changes or patches, of course, we'll support that as well. So, you know, um, it, it's a Blizzard game, so we'll be looking after it for years. Okay. One thing that's pretty interesting is um, how did you set the, the right tone for the game, the, the right designing look of the, the look and feel of the game. I think that there was a lot of discussions going on in the, the fan base about the look. How I, I think there have been a lot of makeovers, right? Well, um, I think there was a lot of discussion in the fan base, but I think that on our side, people remained pretty firm with the look of the game, like mm -hmm. through, and pretty consistent throughout the whole time. Okay. Um, we're very happy with the way that the game looks, and uh, you know, what, as one of my friends told me, it sort of looks like you can take any screenshot of the game and that can be used as the cover for a fantasy book. And I think there's no greater compliment than that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no concerns, it looks great. So people are much ado about nothing on that one. Okay. okay. So there, there wasn't uh, anything or any time that you weren't sure about how it has to look? No, I mean, um, initially there's always an art development process and stuff, but I think people saw screenshots from, I believe, WWI or the announcement and were worried that everything looked like a certain way. But, yeah. um, you know, if, if you haven't already seen it, um, Jay Wilson did a piece um, reviewing Necromancer's Choice, which was a paint over that um, a fan had done to show a dark version of it. And he explained, you know, with side by side screenshots why we did it the way we did mm -hmm. for playability to have the pair characters pop out and pop out differently than the monsters and so on. You know, so there's reasons behind all these things on the gameplay side as well as an artistic choice, and we're happy with both of those things. Have there been any difficulty you encountered during the long development process? Absolutely. Is there something that you can say it stood out from the rest? Is there something really big difficulty? Um, sure. I mean, this is a really complex game to make in general, and we also, you know, tackled many new things as well. So the storytelling elements, trying to bring the storytelling into the action. You know, we wanted a lot more storytelling and a lot more history of Sanctuary, but be less intrusive than it was in Diablo 2, where it was just long conversations, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of action and long conversations. And I think we did well with that. Okay. The classes, you want to talk about that? Yeah, well, the classes themselves, the skill systems underwent lots of changes throughout the beta. I mean, people who played through the beta could see that. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but we were very happy with the final result. It was one of those things where it, it took a long road to get there, but, but the end result is, is, is really accessible to new players, but it offers huge amounts of customiz customization for advanced players too. So, and that was really important to us. Okay. I think uh, the, the skill system is always one of the most difficult things to, to get everything in balance, right? Absolutely. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We started uh, designing Diablo 3 back there, still um, Blizzard North. Right? Well, I was at Blizzard North. Okay, yes. yeah, yes. <laughs> um, Did your work change, kind of like, uh, after, after the change from Blizzard North to...? Um, well, I think that one of those things about Blizzard is, like, that remained true from my time on Diablo 2 to on Diablo 3 is that Blizzard, as a whole, is always about iterating to make a good game better. Those things never change from product to product. 
And so every product we do, you know that when you buy it, it's going to be the result of lots of tweaking, lots of improvement over time, and it's going to be a polished product by this time. So, so nothing big that changed? The same values. Same values, yeah. Oh. And also a very interesting point of the M3 is the secrecy about it. Mm -hmm. How has it been to live with such a big secret for such a long time? I think that's a good one for Jason. You had to live yeah. with it longer than me. It felt so good when we finally announced the game at the Worldwide Invitational. It was, uh, yeah, that was that was a great, <laughs> great moment when I could finally tell my friends what I was going Or your family. So, yeah, and my family, right, exactly. Okay, I can see that you have been happy like a little child. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, with uh, what kind of expectation did you start developing the other three? Have, have there anything going on in your head before you started the other three? Sure, I mean, there was um, a lot of the things that you see that have changed. We knew we needed to change from the beginning. Like, you know, um, the Diablo 2 skill system and the skill trees were quite brilliant. In fact, you see that continue on to Warcraft and or World of Warcraft and so on. Um, but it was also a flawed system and we knew that. We knew that the end game and the economy were broken. We knew that the item trading was broken, though we didn't come up with the auction house solution until much more recently than that. So it's been the details about how we solved the problems, less so than what the problems themselves were. Okay. So. And, and I think that I, I, I still remember back to those early days when uh, like Jay Wilson and I were talking about things and working together. And one of those first classes that we we talked about was the barbarian and the need to make the barbarian just feel epic. I mean, sometimes with um, classes that use magic, I think it's maybe a little bit easier because you can cover the screen with special effects, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit harder with something that's physical. And so just playing with those characters and working it until it actually got right, I think that was really great. I think that's one of the keys to making the game fun and making those characters enjoyable was starting that early in the process. Yeah, I think this is already my last question. Is there already a vacation planned, something like that? Well, we arrived here two days ago, so we spent two days wandering around Berlin as tourists. Um, okay. We've seen a lot of stuff here, and we have a few days in Milan, which is where we're heading next for another launch event. So, okay. a little Germany, a little Italy, not too bad for vacation. And then back to work yeah, on really PvP and live support okay. and so on. So. Yeah, well, it's important to us that we always support the products after they're launched. And so, yeah, for me, it's going back to work. So Once we're sure. sure that everything's running smoothly, then we'll take some time <laughs> off. But there's always going to be people there. So. Okay. But you're still enjoying your time, even though. Of course. Yeah. The city is amazing. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I think that has been all my questions. Thanks. Thank you.